Hello everyone, pro drug tech drummer and YouTube educator Kenny Sherritt's coming to you with a quick drum equipment maintenance video on how I clean, restore, and protect the chrome of both my drum equipment and the drum equipment of the drummers that I tech for. And so since I'm doing a restoration on this lovely drum belonging to Paul Swarovski, the Austin rock legend's bow dunk, I figured I'd walk you through the process, show you how easy it is for you to clean, maintain, and restore your chrome at home. And that there might be a drum that you're going, oh my God, it's all rusty and destroyed and it'll never be back to life. Or like this piece of hardware I'm gonna fix from another stand and you're gonna check out and show you how it's done. Uh, you'd be surprised how great this product works. So let's get to it, get the snare taken apart, and get a chrome cleaning on, and a bonus video on how to rebuild a snare drum. Come on! Although not a total mess, this drum did need a good cleaning all the way around. The hoops in the strainer had obvious signs of pitting, the lug casings had pitting and rust on them, and there were several points on the hoop that had large spots of rust on them. The stand was also covered in oxidation and had several areas with rust. So it was time to go ahead and take apart the snare drum, making sure to keep track of the tension rods in a cup, protect the bearing edge using the old head, and guiding the drill with your finger to make sure you don't strip the swivel nuts. After that, it was just a matter of taking off the tension rod casings, and this drum is ready to clean. All right, y'all, now how I apply the thing and how I use this and do this is basically real simple. I get an old sock, turn it inside out, get that rough side going for you. Apply it, let it dry, and then we use a, like an old soft t-shirt to buff it off and rub it in. Now I like the roughness of this uh, cloth because it just gives a little brush to the, to the rusted parts without overdoing it. And what we're going to go ahead and do is take a look at this really, really nasty, dirty part. And we'll take a look at this really, really rusty part. We're going to add a little on, wait a minute, and then we're going to see what it does just in this short term. So I'm going to go ahead and get this going, get a little bit of this on here. Anyway, you get it in here, you go ahead and rub it on. You want to scrub it in, man. You want to dig in as hard as you can. Go ahead and get those knuckles going. And give this a good, good polish. And let it get on there. And just really scrub the chrome. And that's why I like this sock. It's got little ridges, and you can just kind of dig in without over digging in or scratching the metal. And then you might want to put a little second coating on just to see if it helps deoxidize the area. All right, so now that it's dried up and kind of frosted over a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and buff it off. Come on! Oh, that scratching sound, I bet that's going to be annoying. Let's do this. You kind of really dig in and brush it down and polish it good. And then just after the initial application, you can see just how much dirt and rusting has been removed and how much it has polished down the little rusted spots to where they're little, just little spots, not flaking anymore. It's all pressed down, rubbed down. You can go ahead and give it a second shot or maybe even take it to a buffing wheel. All right, we're gonna go ahead and apply the same kind of program, chrome polishing to this stand to see what it gets us. Cause this stand looks nasty, nasty. Got rust all over this little piece right here. So we're just gonna rub down one little side and see what we get just by a little cleaning right here, right in front. So a piece that looked like it was just destroyed and terrible, look at that. Rust, that's rust, now it's gone. So again, this turtle wax chrome pop, sometimes in a little elbow grease is all you need to get your chrome hardware back in shape, all the rust off, or at least most of the rust off, and protect it. Now it was time for a quick cleaning and polishing of the shell using my favorite drum polish, Music Nomad's Drum Detailer. After the initial cleaning, the hoop in the shell looked great, but I still had a few trouble rust spots on the lug casings in the stand. So after servicing the fixtures of the stand with a little bit of Napa Sil Glide, I took everything over to my father-in-law's shop where we put chrome polish on the blood casings and then buffed them down on the buffing wheel to make sure we didn't miss a single spot. We used the buffing wheel to clean the tension rods as well, but before we could put these Evans drum heads on this drum, there were a few really troublesome spots of rust on the stand that I finally had to address with the chrome polish and a little bit of the 4 aught steel wool I've never been a fan of steel well to an nth degree, but with this is the with this is the grade and with this is the the polish, man, it comes right off and the, just the rust is gone. Look at that, dude, gone, boom, boom. So by using Turtle Wax Chrome Polish from Music Nomad's Drum Detailer, a little elbow grease and some four off steel wool, we restored this stand and this drum to almost brand new condition with either eliminating the biggest spots of rust or taking them down to just the minimum space on the drum. And that is how I clean, restore, and protect chrome on my drum equipment. 